Are you ready for this, Justin? Um, I'm stoked. And they're already under here. <laughs> Not wasting time. Here we go. We won't have a lot of time to analyze these. And now the blunders are going to come fast and furious, Justin. Ooh, can't wait. Are we seeing a C65? Isn't this what Jesse played, uh, Lauren played last game, but with the colors reversed? Probably. It seems familiar. Hmm. I'm surprised. Maybe Jesse was like, I lost uh, I lost this white playing this. I'm going to play it as black against Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. So I, I think it's hard to keep track on which position you have played. Seriously, I don't remember <laughs> which position. It, all of them looks like new for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Khadija hasn't developed the opening yet after all the games you've played. <laughs> what, what did I do? I'm surprised you haven't developed the set opening with all the amount of games you've played. Like, you don't really know what I like to play in each position, you know? But I, yeah, because I, I mean, we don't play it every day, right? Mm. I mean, I just started playing again recently. <laughs> so, <laughs> you have no idea what's going on there. <laughs> but we're underway here with the uh, uh, Dragon Bishop starting off in the center of the game here for this. So, so here's the thing, Justin, going into the, into this, right, knowing that mm -hmm. the previous game when you did play, uh, when you did play against, uh, Lauren, you won with the black pieces, right? So the pressure is on you now to win with the black pieces again, so that you can set yourself up to at least get back and win with the white pieces. And of course, Lauren mm -hmm. knows she's lost with the white pieces, um, mm -hmm. Uh, she's won with the white pieces as well so you know do you think any of this is playing a role or is it just let's just focus on the game at hand so I think for Lauren um, I don't think uh, because she didn't I think when when you play a different opening of white it doesn't affect you but if you try I think that's what comes to you kind of avoid playing the same opening that you lost with because if you had to play that opening, you're like, ah, I feel the same problems I dealt with. So let me try a new opening. That's why Lauren didn't play this opening with what? Against Jesse, right? She didn't repeat the opening she played in that first game where she had her pieces all passive and everything. Yeah. You know? So I think that's that's also the case here. Whereas Jesse is going for a much more open play. Dragon Bishop's looking at both sides of the board. Okay, um, Knight H4. Out of the two. Oh, it's yeah. hitting G2, forcing the castle. Yeah, but I mean, White's just gonna castle and then your knight's just doing nothing. Well, knight can, go, knight can go to F5. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's, if, if you play knight F5, you just wasted two tempo, tempos. I'm not gonna take your knight, and if you take my knight, you just wasted three tempos. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like you said, is... there could be the idea of a sack on G2 now. Uh, but I don't That's think, the again, the only, uh, again, the only problem is, is there enough time? See, like, this is what I don't like, right? If you're white here, just accept that the sack probably doesn't work in castle. Trust your gut instincts. Because to me, I'm like, if I castle and you take on G2, I'm not getting naked. Yeah. But now you just wasted 20 seconds to play a passive move in a position that you're completely fine. Yes. That, that's something I don't like as, as what you're doing in these blitz games. I think it's okay. It's not like White's in a terrible position, but now you put your queen in front of your dragon bishop. Where is that dragon bishop going for the next? I don't know. All of, a, all of a sudden, that knight on h5 is doing a beautiful job. <laughs> exactly. So the move that was like uh, just a throwaway move for black is now turned into an excellent move. You know, I, I don't like. It. It's just in in blitz games, you don't want to be doing things like that. Here we go. More pieces coming to the fray. Right. We've got one minute twelve versus one minute thirty. Jesse is 20 seconds behind on the clock, and there's the first blow with F4. Now we gotta see. <laughs> That's not ideal. Ah, attack the I'm queen. I'm taking the dragon bishop. I'm, I'm taking both bishop. dragon bishops from my queen any day of the week. Yeah. If that's me, 12 points for 9. Um, quick math is that that looks worth it. If I'm Lauren, I'm in, I'm saying happy days. Okay, but it is a little harder to play when you got no time on the clock, right? I mean, I'm going E4 right away. Yep. Just try and get your dragon bishops active because the only way you lose this game castle, is castle kingside now is what you got to do. Castle kingside, trade the pawns the on the D. Thing. 
and uh, you've got an attack on the sea pawn. The king is still in the center. This is not easy. Yeah, but remember, your knight's hanging on g5. That's why I said e4. And now you swap off, and now you just play g. Uh, well, he's... Yeah. Okay, but he's castle. Now. But now you got a castle. Yeah, castle, and then dragon, bishop e3, or g3, whatever. And you're yeah. Completely fine. I don't see any play for an arm next move. I'm casting queenside. I'm good. Knight, knight to f5. Yeah, knight to f5. Kind of. What do you want to play? Dragon bishop h5. You don't really want to. You don't. You don't want to take. You don't want to. Yeah. Probably just dragon bishop h5. Definitely your move was better there, I'd say. <laughs> and now white is just... And black is 20 seconds. This looks... Is this um game... Uh, two games or is it just two. a sudden death? Two games, two games. Okay. So, I mean, Lauren must feel in a happy mood knowing she's beaten Jesse with black and now she's probably going to win as white often. Yeah, this is... B4... Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm swinging B5 and, and A4, A5. Well, I'm going Rook D6 next move. Rook d6 is my next move. Then I take your I take your rook, thanks. Oh my <laughs> Yes, I'm not the only one that does it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my brain so short. My brain so short. <laughs> B5, so you've, yeah, got, you've got you've gotta be aggressive here. You don't have time. Just be aggressive. Yeah, yeah rook d1 and rook d6. Yeah, now rook, rook d6, d6 I'm happy with. I'm happy with rook d6. Just keep chasing. Oh, you can't just chase the queen, yeah. Oh, lovely. lovely. Beautiful move. Queen. Beautiful move. Just oh, keep beautiful move as well. This is a lovely move here. Queen bg5. It's a disgusting, disgusting move. Lovely stuff. Rook, rook, ah, oh, rook ac8 and you pick Knight, up the, 94. the knight. 94. Lovely. Oh, rook ac8 was the move. Come on, just don't blunder. Oh wait, there's Dragon Bishop takes A8 and then Rook check and mate. Oh Take wow. The Take the Rook. Oh, oh look at that. Free. Take the Rook. Okay, oh, Rook, no. Rook AC8. Oh, the Bishop's oh, gone. Nice. Oh, here we go. What we've been waiting for. I can't believe it. Oh. Oh my goodness. The pressure is getting to the players. 100%. Pressure is getting to them. Beautiful. I mean, what? I mean, you're just allowing the queen activity. This is not what you want to be doing. Queen like e2. The queen was badly placed on b7. Just keep it there. Oh, queen, uh, queen goes back. I would have played queen. Why are you playing G3? Just play uh, Dragon Bishop G3. Like, why are they doing this? Okay, obviously time is a factor. Queen F7. Oh. Knight G5. Come on, Knight G5 has to be the move. There we go. One, uh, Dragon Bishop, but you can't play. Okay, Rook no, D8. That, that... Yeah, just get get the rooks out of the way. Dragon Bishop C5. There we go. Sure. Oof. Takes, Nasty. takes, takes, and now knight g5, next move, knight g5. Oh, you can't because the black didn't go well. Um, nice, that's a great move. Yo, Jesse's playing really well like, with, the, with the amount of time she has on the clock. She just blinded a rock and it didn't lose it! Oh, Why? Queen takes pawn! <laughs> queen oh, takes pawn, you gotta play queen takes pawn. Take on b4, take on b4, nice. g4, nice. take Rook's g4. Hanging. Rook's hanging. Don't take, uh, I would not take. Oh, uh, you can't take, you're making the game easier for black. No, that doesn't work. Uh -huh. The bishop defends the knight. Knight e2 Ooh, is coming. Pushing the pawns. Knight e2, knight e2. Oh. You can play right. dragon bishop d2. It covers both cover each other. Okay, but yeah, but now you got now you got knights, uh, queen, uh, da, 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 da. sure. This is crazy. No, why you you can't expose your king? Just go a four. I mean a six. 
Nice, lovely stuff, lovely stuff. What does that do exactly? I don't Let's know. see what that does. Just keep pushing. Did black just... Just go queen. Uh, no, don't... Just queen. No, don't queen. <laughs> <laughs> do not queen. <laughs> just take the knight and queen. Take the knight and queen. You win this game. You have another boss point. Knight yeah. 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 yeah, but now you just a piece up. Yeah. Too many and errors. Just keep pushing the pawn. No, why are you wasting all? Just push the pawn. <laughs> I would have rather played queen d5 and then push. But, yeah. We're left with some excitement here at the end. <laughs> queen c6. Come on, guys. Queen c6. Why are you making it complicated? Perpetual, here we come! Knight c3, just... No, you can't even knight c3. Perpetual, oh, here we come! Simple. Watch this, queen c7, queen b4, we've got a perpetual. Queen... queen no, oh! Blunders the knight. Why? Queen check, queen check, and then you push. No, you... Game check. What? That's just losing. Queen, queen e2. Like... Oh my gosh. <sighs> Perpetual, here we come. No, because now you run to uh, c1 and now b2 and c3. Yeah, but you should have checked on uh, b4, man. What isn't? No. Oh, for a second my brain was like, what? Nate and now the opening runs to E2. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that would have been a shocker. There's going to be a perpetual here, I promise you. This is why, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, a free win. Queen, yeah, there we go. Queen back to Actually, B5. Runs to C3. Run to C3, please. No, C3, the same diagonal as your queen. Okay, run up with the king, b4. Yeah. Let's go. Didn't get didn't get the right uh, pattern for the perpetual there. The perpetual was there. Yeah. It had to be on the dark squares. Like keep the king boxing with b4 and e1 constantly. What? What just happened? Yeah, white just wins now. Just hide behind your two queens. Oh, there's that works too. Place your queen on d6. Queen there is nice. Our other queen on d6. There we go. Run up, run back down. <laughs> 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 Just king e6, come on. Queen oh three. my goodness. Well, it's, it's winning. If this is not winning, uh, I mean, I'll be shocked. No, it's completely winning, but the time is going to play a role like, here. <laughs> they're making it so difficult. <laughs> like, why? Well, it's mate in two. Can't stop it. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Well, black who gave the game there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. At least Lauren won a game that she should have won. <laughs> 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 I was so nervous for a sec that she's giving the win away. Wow. So close. So close. Okay, they got one more to do. So you can start that one straight away. Yeah, they they up and away for the next game. Let's go. No, oh, before D3 was sprayed, I'm like, played, I was like, I'll be in for a petrol. Knight takes E4, Knight takes E5. Then I'm like, oh, wait, this dragon bishop takes on E5. <laughs> this is not normal chess. <laughs> uh, here comes the dreaded Knight F5 ideas for like attacking G7. Yep. <laughs> We're definitely having some exciting chess on our hands. <laughs> Yeah, so close. So, so close. But it, it just shows you the margin of error is very, very low, eh? Yeah. But I'm just surprised in that last game how Jesse was able to play so many moves with 10 seconds on the clock. 
and she maintained that 10 seconds throughout. Yeah. I was quite impressive to watch. So yeah, we have a nice close game. It's just about who's going to break first in the center. And there we go. One, one tactic I love in this line is when people forget that their queen's undefended on C1 <laughs> and then they do some exchanges in the same thing, you just grab a free queen because they forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm black, yeah, I'm definitely playing E4, yeah. Okay, knight D7. Probably knight D7, knight, yeah. Utilize that the, the 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 dragon bishop advantage. Wait, what? What a sneaky oh, move! The, the, what the a four. sneaky move! Guess he's going for the cheap boats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was such a cheapo. Bishop h5 here. Bishop h5. Mm, then, you know. Or knight takes knight and then bits. I don't know. Bishop h5 is just exciting. Come now. What about what about knight knight? What about knight, knight takes g? Knight, yeah. And then knight takes g7. What you about to say as well as we can? Knight takes knight. Knight takes g7. But then knight takes g7. Uh, okay. uh, there's not enough. Yeah, there's there's not enough. But she's it's looking. Like pieces take away. Yeah. Oh, uh, she plays your move. She's looking at it. Problem is the knight on e6 has been forgotten about. I think I would have first liked to have taken a knight on d7. What? Oh, you play. You can play queen takes dragon bishop. Queen takes dragon bishop, and oh, then knight and then knight e7, and we get the queen and we got oh, a dragon oh, bishop oh. here. Is she playing it though? Does she see it? Is the question. Oh, I hope so. No. Oh. Andrew's tactics is a bit too quick for them then. Oh, that would have been a nice tactic, but even I didn't see it. I was like, completely missed. Now you gotta worry about that four. 97, 97, 97! 97! You just blundered! Yes! Oh, there it goes. Oh. That's terrible. Night takes. Night takes, squid. You are going to be down at night though. Um, in a queen, while you still have a dragon bishop on the board. Oh, this is... Oh, it feels bad for Lauren, but the pressure was mounting. I mean, that tactic was there for ages. Okay, that's interesting. If rook takes knight, you got bishop takes... Dragon takes f7. Oh my gosh, dragon takes f7, bishop g6, queen h6 mate, isn't it? So dragon bishop, but there's no check, so you're not forced to, there's always knight g5. Knight. Queen takes rook, queen takes rook, it's mate! Just take the rook. Oh, oh my goodness. heavens! Oh. So <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, let me just double check what the next time break is. Uh, it's and if it's still it's tie, it's golden game. The golden game is three okay. minutes plus three seconds. Okay. That's okay, Lauren. The pressure was mounting there for quite a lot of moves. Yo. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lauren and Jesse, it's um, golden game. Um, I don't know how you guys want to do the, the, the colors. When I think last time, yeah, we cast with the other tournament. Okay. So, yeah, uh, I don't know if you want to, if you have a chess piece or something. <laughs> <Maybe it's without laughs> um, okay, I'll tell you what, what about if I put the spinner on with your two names and I just spin like that? Yeah. Is that all right? So we only play one more game and three plus three. It's three plus three, <laughs> one more game. Um, okay, let me just get my wheel up. Give me a uh, spin the wheel. Give me a second. 
Okay. Here we go. And then we'll put. I'm just gonna put your. No man, don't spin. Let's do this. Can you stop? Stop, 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 stop. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Jesse and Lauren. Alright, guys. Here's for the spin. Whoever it lands on gets white. Everybody happy with that? Thumbs up. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the player playing white for the golden game is... Lauren, you get a 3 plus 3 with white for the golden game. Alright, whoever wins this goes through. Good luck, ladies. I rematched. <clears throat> and the underwear. So we have a uh, we have copycats going on in this game. <laughs> this black match with e5. I guess not. Isn't this a repeat of... of... <laughs> no. Sh with your repeats now. Sh with your repeats I'm, now. I'm sure these these two really love this b4, c3, c6 opening. So <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've seen it quite a bit now. Let's just hope Lauren doesn't go for uh, another passive opening. Because she has now lost twice to Jesse with the white pieces. Oh, let me just delete that. Sorry guys, there you go. <laughs> my bad, I had a extra board on there. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. There we go. Right. So, I mean, we've had everything so far. Justin? Hmm. <laughs> I see one of the, the, the um, shadows... Uh, he's confused there with soccer and chess, but I see a Sue there in the, in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we see White taking nicely control of the center, blocking out the Dragon Bishops on the diagonal. I do like the structure Lawrence went for this round. It seems a bit more, um, I can say, more active, which is something that when she has been playing active, she does seem to get better positions and seems to make less mistakes due to uh, just the nature of moves coming more easily to her. Whereas when she doesn't have much uh, idea, she tends to uh, look like she blunders. So I'm glad to see that this game she's taking a more active approach. Justin, don't you think that a knight c5 would have been better and she would have won the b7? Instead when of was this? e5, because you have other knights always to come to e5. Yeah, but it's it's also do you want to chase a pawn in that position is a question, right? So like, yes, b7 valuable. You're probably gonna win the pawn, but black's gonna develop towards your king, and if you're going down the route of trying to win that pawn, you'd have wasted quite a lot of moves. What right? about so what about comes to e5 here, yeah, guys? E5 definitely a move, but. Do you really want to be playing e5 when your king is in front of your queen? Hey, listen, <laughs> listen, at this point, the way they're playing doesn't really make a difference where the king is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit scared, okay? I, I know I, I'm a bit, I'm not a risk of a, I'm not that risk of first type person, but even I'm scared of that. <laughs> Don't, I mean, come on, we only live the white life once. We gotta push for this, man. We gotta push for this. Kadija, are you playing e5 in that position? <laughs> No, no, no. Chickens, the lot of you, the whole lot of you, chickens. <laughs> Go lay eggs somewhere, guys. Go lay eggs somewhere. <laughs> if you play e5 in this, like you don't have the dragon outside on its fucking face. You don't castle. There's a lot of yeah. going. I mean, she fin white finished development. Uh, um, I believe she can always um, double the box and just put pressure on that e6 too. That's if my king stays there long enough, right? <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. 
<laughs> I was thinking of teasing Andrew and saying the reason why the Anchor teacher's not playing E5 was we distinguishing the good players from the bad players. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shots fired, shots fired. And uh, beat me twice in the Blitz games we played, so he's, he's up 2 to 1. So. <laughs> <laughs> H7, hey, if somehow you can distract that queen. Oh, yeah, that's... I, I think queen, like, yeah. If he could okay. lose that queen, it would be really yeah, amazing. But that pawn, that pawn on d6 is, is, is not looking pleasant. I mean, I really like the dragon bishop on c2. I, I don't know why white decided to move it to b3. You know, I think that was a bit. Because now, I mean, you just have. Dragon Bishop D7 here, we should be okay? Or are we still in, in a mess? Yeah. She's gonna capture, rook captures E6. Yeah. I mean, she has three attackers. Yeah. yeah I mean, she dragon. can capture now, right now she can capture also with a, with a dragon and just yeah. the exchange. I'm worried about once you capture on, on E6 and rook takes, you have knight E4, threatening knight takes H3, threatening the queen, threatening the rook. But you have a discovery check. Yeah, you must be careful of the discovery check there. Yeah, 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 I meant if she had to take for the dragon bishop first. Because oh, yeah, but the discovery is... check's still there. Oh. Now there is that knight coming to f4. Mm -hmm. Which is now it. Jesse's time, guys. Jesse's time. Uh, I'm not worrying about Jesse's time. We just saw her play a monster game with 10 seconds on her clock, so. <laughs> I think this is a tactic. This is the tactic. Come on now, guys. This is good for um, black. Because she I mean, has the time that we're going. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, where are you playing your queen? H6 or G6? Or are you going not F4? runs into touch G6. Yeah, so F7. Yeah, now she's safe. Now you have to worry about knight F4. Um, your it's still spinned, right? Who's spinned? Um, the, the knight. Yeah, yeah, but remember your, your, uh, how, how, if you play knight f4 now, okay, well, now you just, can't. Yeah, I'm with a slight bit. Alright, here comes Jessie with the quick moves now. This is, she's got a plan and she's going to go for it. She's not going to be thinking too much. I'm trying to think, what is, what is, what is black's? idea your h5 and then I, I don't see a or at least maybe just black's thinking let me just play more speed and develop maybe dragon bishop d6 next move and just develop oh nice Ooh. nice that's very nice i guess that's you have to play 95 no no that's I think 95 right uh what will you give it yeah night night actually looks very good yeah 95 and then you can just drop your dragon bishop back to f3 if, if white wants black moves to queen. And you cut out all tactics on the h. What? Yeah, bishop takes knight. What's wrong with that? Because I'm going to pick up the dragon bishop on my pawn. Oh, uh, but you can't... You just blend them. Oh, so it doesn't work. How does... How does... Uh, I just pick up the dragon bishop, well spotted by Jesse. 21 seconds on the clock. This is coming down to the wire. Pawn takes dragon bishop. Oh, that's sad. Maybe they shouldn't listen to the fatso Justin or that move. <laughs> oh, oh, is there mate here? Bishop takes dragon, bishop, dragon bishop takes rook, queen f2, queen h4, knight to f3, e3. This could be it. Oh, is Jesse, no way is Jesse seen this. No way is Jesse seen this. Check. not mate yet. I mean, you probably got queen and now 93. 93 looks winning. Right? Yeah. yeah. 93 and then check again at 93-4. And you threaten mate on h2. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. 23 I seconds on the H2. clock H2. and she's finding moves like this. Yeah, queen, queen h4 and knight takes queen h4. Queen h4 knight takes, uh, knight takes uh, g g4, yeah. Yo, lovely stuff. Unbelievable it's stuff by Jesse. 11 seconds on the clock and she's flying into this position. I don't see any defense. Oh, yeah, okay. Queen H2 mates and Jesse goes to the final. Khadija, you have your opponent for first Ooh. and second spots. Unbelievable stuff. Um, 
Guys, I think it's only fair that we give Jesse and Lauren a few minutes breather. That was some intense chess being played right there. Oh, Jesse. <laughs> Yes. You just better have a tactics ready for this, yeah? Cause... I know. Okay. Yeah, slide. Because <laughs> you just got first, um, what do you got? First view of that game, so I would be a bit nervous. Though. <laughs> but I thought you must play the dragon to um, HT and not the rock, right? The, yeah. the knight. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, dragon H2, and you save, you save it. Everything, yeah. right? Yeah, I have I have one I have one, I have one question for you, Jesse. I have one question for you. We spotted a little pattern there. Jesse only started playing chess at twenty three seconds. <laughs> like, uh, it's hard to adjust from like rapid to blitz. And, uh, that's not my strong. <laughs> I think it's not that you start playing chess. You start playing good moves when you start. <laughs> absolutely phenomenal stuff guys i mean you couldn't ask for a better better playoff to get to the finals